Earlier this year, Bot Construction Group was presented with the Green Leadership and Sustainability Award by the Ontario Road Builders Association. This award recognizes the contractor's development and implementation of a systematic, company-wide approach to environmental protection and sustainability practices. To gain a better understanding of how exactly this environmental management system works and what impact it has on the job site, I traveled out to Western Road and Humber River, where Bot is contracted by Metrolinx to build a new go-line rail bridge over the Humber River. I'm on site with Mike Beatty. He is the quality manager and heads up the environmental management system for Bot Construction. Today he's going to help us understand a little bit more clearly what exactly an environmental management system is and what it means for Bot. So can you jump in and tell us a little bit about it? Certainly. An environmental management system, simply put, is, is a tool that management uses to control and to uh, mitigate environmental risk on a project. Uh, essentially, it's a continuous improvement model that we use. It's broken up into four components. It's plan, do, check, act. We plan our operations with, it, with respect to environmental risk on a project. We do the operations that we ob obtain in the, in the planning stage. We check them and then we, we act upon them. And what that means is act upon is it's a continuous improvement model. We try and improve our processes all the way through. So we, we do inspections, we, we have measurable results that we can improve our operations with and we make significant changes to those operations in order we can improve the process. And can you give us some examples of, of how that might impact the job site itself? What, what it's really done is, is it's taken the identification of environmental risks and put them at the front of the project. Traditionally, under an old system, uh, it would be very reactionary. You would uh, have an issue on a contract and you react to it. Well, now we're able to go into a project at the planning stages and tailor our operations and, and plan for significant environmental uh, issues that potentially could arise. Has it changed your relationship with any of your suppliers or in terms of the equipment you use or on that type of level? Or We've really engaged our suppliers and our, and our subcontractors. We've brought them into the process. They're involved in our training processes. Uh, with respect to suppliers, we've allowed them to propose different types of materials or different approaches where we could go to permitting agencies and we'd, we'd uh, maybe propose an alternate method or an alternate approach that had never been done before. So our suppliers have really welcomed the idea and have really been helping us in this process. On a project of this size and scale, it must take a pretty significant investment. Can you comment on that a little bit? Yes, it was with significant cost, but it's a commitment that management made and uh, we feel there's, there's going to be a clear benefit to it in the future.